Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your home, startup, and new tab pages in the Microsoft Edge web browser. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is open up the Edge web browser, and then go up and select the menu icon at the top right corner of the browser window. Just go ahead and left click on that, and then go down and select settings. On the left side, you want to select start, home, and new tabs. So when Edge starts up, if you want to open up a specific page as your home page here, you would select the add a new page button, and you can just type in the URL or copy and paste it into here. And then every time you relaunch Microsoft Edge, it will relaunch this page. Unless, of course, you have open tabs from the previous session enabled, in which case it just would relaunch the previous session's tabs. But again, if you want to have a home page, go ahead and select open these pages. And if you want to have that home button enabled up here too, then you just click on that button to take you to the home page. You want to select the second option, and uh, not the new tab option, but you want to select the second option here, that's just a blank field, and then type in whatever you want your home page to be, and then you would select save. So that's how you would select your home or startup page, depending on how you want to look at it. And as for your new tab page, just scroll down a little bit further, and you can go ahead and actually customize your new tab page layout and content. So if you select the customize button, you can go ahead and actually select the gear icon now on the new tab page. You can adjust the layout of the page as well as how many links. If you want to have any links, you could turn it off. Regional language, you can modify that as well. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Do I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.